Hey everyone. Just like that, we're live. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to do some Apex with Free Kong. It's the final weekend of the season. Let me just get signed in here. The window doesn't start for another uh, 45 seconds, so we've got time to get set up. All right. Free Kong, ready to roll. I'm getting messages already. What's this one say? Oh, that's Tristan getting ready to play. It's too bad he's not here. We could stream his games. He's been having a rough season. Not the kind of season that uh, really suits his playstyle very well, I don't think. He's been having a tough time with all the assassins. Speaking of having a tough time, uh, just while I'm getting set up with my links and stuff, I might as well run this Forest Expedition. Maybe I'll get an SSR gear that I'll want to use for this Apex window. And now I'll just make sure that people know I'm streaming. Well, my Discord being frozen up certainly doesn't help. Streaming Free Kong. to do it. And while this is playing out and getting me some sweet SSR gear, I'll go ahead and get the free uh, the pre-stream pour out of the way as well. Cuz we're going to need a beverage for this. Where we're going, we're going to need a beverage. Delicious. All right, what did we get? Why are there so many Matthews? Okay. Old Nate, thanks for the follow, by the way. Sorry, I'm a little late with that. Okay, first things first. Apex window is open, but let's take a look. I have to admit, I haven't played on this account in uh, quite some time, like since the first or second week when I just played my first few games to go up to bronze. So I forget what I'm working with here. Let's just take a quick look at the Free Kong box. See what kind of nonsense we've got. I actually have a decent-ish SP Grenier who's going to be hopefully picked. Um, got my SP Lewin. He's all geared up. He's got a Tiamat. I also just unlocked SP Freya, so I don't really know how to build her. I just dumped some steel stuff on her. Uh... She can buff Lewin, I guess, if I have to pick her. Uh, Angelica is all set up with her thorny stuff. She's my faction buffer for many of these box members. Uh, Iris is just in here. Yeah, she's in here. Sheba, I've got him set up with another Tiamat and a Lance. He's decent. He could use some more attack, but, I mean, my Free Kong uh, enchants are not the best. That's fine. Just a Breeze Hein. Uh, I've got Isara all in on attack and magic, hoping to just maximize the skill damage she can do with her 3C. Because she's not going to be tanking any hits for me. She's quite weak, but she might be able to get an AoE off. Similar to this uh, Ein's. I don't know why his int is so terrible. What is going on with his int? 11%? It's like 4%, 3%. Yeah. He could use some better rolls, I guess. 
Oh, I usually run him in PvE as a demon, so his uh, Ancient Beckoning rolls probably aren't fantastic either. The hero, Tomahashiba. He's fine. We don't need to change anything about him. We've got SP Sherry. Almeida is a healer. Varna I haven't used, um, but she's potentially decent as an AoE helper. And she's built, so that helps. I put my Balance Blade on Matthew just in case I need to run him with um, Sword Dance and go all in on um, area. If I find I'm not getting good use out of that, I can switch his gear and go back to like an Assassin build for him, or actually more than likely uh, drop him out of the box and put like Lance or Vargas in. And I've got Puritess in here just as another Assassin, so she and Cherie are kind of my only options for bypassing Guard. So it looks like I've got like two real tanks and then this if it needs to tank. I guess Lewin can tank if he needs to tank too, but that I don't like doing that. And I've got one, two, three healers. So I think my strategy is going to have to be like first pick Lewin. Because then I have two like tank buffers for him. And if people are going to ban both Grenier and Freya next, then I can probably pick up someone else. But I'm not sure who that will be. I think at that point we just go with the Sheba squad. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. It's going to be Free Kongish in here. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty free Kongy in here. All right, let's just go ahead and load in. I mean, it is bronze, so we'll see. We'll see how the pick ban situation evolves. Like I said, I do have the option of putting in. I have Sophia if I need another healer. I have Vargas if I need another tank. Uh, so what do we got here? We've got a Juggler, a Landius. Those are the only real tanks. Obviously, more people with the potential to tank. But I don't really run tank busters, period, so that kind of doesn't matter. Probably I would just want to get rid of AoE. Like, I don't really have an answer to something like Bozal. Or this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we get rid of her first. It's so weird trying to figure out what Free Kong's limitations are beyond the obvious. Beyond the obvious that uh, basically everything is a limitation for Free Kong. I don't really have an answer to AoE. Um, don't really have a tank. Oh, going for first ban Grenier. That's interesting. Probably not the worst move in the world. Um, in that case, I want to get rid of this for sure. And what else is mean to my Lewin? Like, that is probably a Sword Elwin, so I don't think I want to face Sword Elwin with my Lewin. I'm going to stick with first pick Lewin. Now, obviously, this will let him ban uh, Freya as well, if he wants to ban me out of all my tanks. And that will mean no buffer for Lewin either, but Lewin's still Lewin. Yeah, so Freya's gone, so I don't... I mean, I can go with Isara if I want a tank. Which, I have a lot of time left, so it might not be a bad idea to go down that route now. I think I will. I think I'm going to pick Isara here. So what hurts Isara? Basically everything. I think this probably hurts...
I think this is the second time I've ever used her in an Apex match. And the first time she didn't really do anything. Okay, so getting rid of Ainz, getting rid of Cherie. Cherie's a good ban because she's actually a good unit. She's a, a fully built up SP. So he got his tank, he got his healer, and he's going to go with Rachel. Okay, that makes sense. He's got Landius for the faction buff for that. I think I'm just going to keep getting rid of, like, well, I probably don't want Lana in there. And I don't want Juggler if I'm going to be going over to an AoE strat. I think I'm going to grab her now, because she can faction buff probably most of the rest of the people that I'm going to be picking, and she can be healer. Feels bad to pick a healer right now. But I don't want my entire team not to be buffed. Alright, st we still have... Okay, I picked a healer and he banned the other two healers. Maybe he doesn't realize that she can heal. So I have... Um, a buffable AoE. Um, I have Sheba, who's actually pretty strong. I think I'm going to have to go with Sheba. Do I have faith that this... Either this Leon or this Ultimuler are any good? I think I'm going to go with Sheba here. He has revives. He can attack into Landius. And then we'll be left with someone useful for fifth pick. So chat, let me know if any of you are also climbing this window. Or this weekend in general, I want to know how you're doing. It doesn't seem like it's a really hectic um, end to the season. Like, the cutoff seems pretty low. So a lot of the players that are normally gatekeeping threats in the last weekend are maybe on the bench. So let me know, like, where you're at. I know Tristan was in the 1800s somewhere. Najin, hello. Soda, hello. Um... I think let's bring out Pure Tess. Why not? We've got quite the time box going on. Mr. Sad climbed to Silver 2. Nice work. I hope to be able to make it there. Let's see what we can slap together here. <laughs> Stop climbing when you hit gold. Oh, that's fair. You know what? A lot of people... I think a majority of the people rest at gold because that's where all the rewards are. Do I care about this? What is this doing for me? Dispels buffs. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine setup for him. Wolves are good. She's fine with this. Lewin's fine. What do we got here? Now, she's my tank. I might want a bulkier troop on her. What's her bulky troop? I know I don't have the mech dragon built. Golden Knights, I guess. Okay, she has her tank skill. She has her AoE. Gonna have the last push tomorrow, Lone Bird. Are you gonna be streaming that on... Uh... No, you don't like to stream at all, do you? you? You play your matches privately. That's cool. We got her faction buff. We got her reconfig, and we've got her big mass heal. I think this is it. With my level 46 Thor. Pathetic. All right, who do we got? Someone whose name I cannot read properly. We got a Luna with 3C and Gale. Yeah, we got a Landius with Horses. She brought Gospel. TRS with 3C. And it is a fully flying Ultimuler with faction buff. So... Potentially, that is going to be Piratessa's target, that uh, Ultimuler. I'd like to kill the Rachel, though. She can't reach, right? Move two blocks. 
No, and it's three attack. Next time. Okay, what does he have that's actually threatening then? Nothing, really. So Rachel's kind of the worry, so let's just uh, get tanked up. Yeah. She can hit at three blocks with her 3C, which is fine. I think her move again moves her. Two extra? Two extra, yeah. So she can go here and hit here or here. She would also love to get crit, which Landius is hindering, but not entirely preventing. My Pyrotest is also very flimsy, very, very glass cannon, <laughs> and light on the cannon part of that, too. Kind of like, I don't know, what's a wimpy glass cannon? Like a glass handgun? So with his turn priority, he can Runic Void. Well, he can hit Lewin. Kind of think I have to try to go for that Rachel first. But I do have a couple AoEs to soften the team up with. Probably open with an AoE next turn. Hope that um, baits the heal from Tiaris, and then I can either AoE again or just go for a kill. Well, we know he's not coming into range this turn, so let's just get this out of the way. We'll get our faction buff up, and we'll see if the elementary school strat ends up working. Yeah, with TR's boost, the thing is, I don't see him moving too far out of guard range, so... Like, unless he moves Landius first. It's certainly possible. What's the opening play? I'm pretty much okay with whatever he does. Doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, he is going to go with Landius first. All right, I guess it's time to give them an AOE. Uh, was Landius gospeled? Looks like it. No? Let's start with her then. Oh yeah, she gets to run back too. I don't think I want to though. No, she stays here. Love the rata rata rata. Okay, so we want him to want to heal right now.
Now, can he... Yeah, Lando was gospel. That's okay. We got the old follow up AoE on the go. Maybe she's pretty good, Span. Maybe. I mean, she's literally the only assassin who uh, I can actually unlock her uh, full bonds for. Because <laughs> everyone, all the other assassins who are freebies are bond blocked, usually by D-Heart. So he's AoE'd down. Now we get to see if Pirates can get in there and kill someone. I've got my AoE back on Luin already, so I think if I kill anyone, if I can, I'll try to kill Tiaris. Oh yeah, Rachel healing. Well, Rachel's not full now, so I guess I try to kill Rachel. I have another AoE with his 3C. This might not be a good idea. <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. Oh, she can hit Pirates. I think that'd be a pretty bad move. Luin hurting, but if she's gone, then the only other person who can even hit Luin right now is Tiaris. And she's got her hands full next turn, so I don't think she'll be trying to pick off my Luin. Yeah, my Asara is not really built for tanking. Get in here and hit. No real reason to run back. Let's see. How hard do you hit this? Oh, enough to kill. That's okay, we're doing fine. What do we want to do with Lewin? I guess we're going to keep him as a Lancer. You can be a Lancer, Lewin. Unable to guard? Uh-oh. He has to dispel it or move Landius first. Okay, he's not going to do either of those things. Pyrtas lives. Surprise! 
Yeah, it's certainly possible that he didn't notice. I mean, it can be it can be tricky, um, especially when it's weird characters that you're not used to. Like he got that from uh, Shackles, like from my routing light from Shiba Raku. Like I'm sure this guy has not played a Shiba Raku before. Lewin should be able to easily handle uh, being hit by any of these. Baited. Uh, Lewin's attack is like 1200. He didn't have a buff. 60 points? Let's take a look at my Lewin, actually. So, yeah, this is all I got. Basically, no attack. What is on this Lewin? I do have a uh, 15 attack rag. What have I got on this? Okay, all hit points on my Tiamat. Lots of hit points and defense on my crown. And lots of defense and kind of a bit of hit points on my blood pack. So yeah, there's basically no attack rules on this. Thorns strikes again. Thorns always be striking. This is one of my favorite. My main Kong Angelica is built like this too. Love it. She's a good she's a good kid. She knows what she's doing. All right, let's get my uh, win rate up to 50%. What else was on the rag? I didn't even look, can't I? Did I have like 3 or 4% hit points on there? Let's go free Kong. Let's get up to 50% win rate. Kutaru, you'll be deeply missed. I wish you could stick around. I saw you up on the leaderboards, didn't I? You're up there in the top 100. Working working man, Kutaru. All right, what do we got here? Uh, this is not the same guy, despite having Luna in here. There's also a Sissy, there's a Christiane, there's a Ham, a Licorice, a non-SP Elwin. There's a Vargas, Kruger, Rosenseal. Okay, so there's some princessiness going on in here, but there's also some dark comboage. Oh, it's Najin? Is this you, Najin? <laughs> oh, Boslin burned right. I forgot they were mercs. The, uh, this is first ban Grenier both times already. Well, I tell you what. Huh, Christian and Vargas. I really don't want to face this. We're going to go with first pick Cherie, just because no Hilda, no Landius. She's going to be able to get crits and then run back. That was a tank and healer ban. I don't think I'm going to be running a tank, to be honest. So if I want to pick up a healer, it's got to be now. Okay, I kind of don't want to give him buffs for her. Well, she can just buff herself, but still. What if I did just ban his tanks? Alright, let's get a healer. Let's get a healer who can also teleport. Now, if I'm going to be running with no tank, which is not set in stone yet, I still have Freya.
I was gonna say I probably gotta get rid of some long legs like uh, Leon, for example. But I think I'm gonna get rid of these monsters now. I don't think just Iris can handle them. But I don't see a need to bring out a tank yet. I mean, I guess for Leon. He's the only kind of long leg left. And Luna, too. Maybe I do bring her out. Oh, she's so bad, though. She's so bad. I mean, I guess if he puts Leon out, I can just trade with him. But I don't have any way to prevent that Lucretia from hitting me. No, I think I need her just for Lu the Lucretia who's already out there. Burn can eat her up. So she's already getting buffed by Burn, so I don't really need to worry about what Luna is doing here. I'm worried about this slightly if I want to any of my remaining AoE picks. Well, mainly Ainz. Ainz would be useless if she gets out. Let's face it, Ainz is going to be useless uh, no matter who gets out. Oh, Ainz is banned anyway. That's fine. He doesn't want to face the AoEs. That makes sense. Alright, let's get rid of some deeps. Ainz, back in the box. For now. For now, while we try something to do with AoE. Um, let's get rid of deeps. Sheba's annoying. Both Shebas are annoying. Who's the most annoying of the Shebas? Let's go with Toma. We had Sheba Raku already, so we owe it to ourselves to go with the other Sheba, Hashiba. I usually consign myself to not getting buffs for any of these characters, Meow. She'll get a damage boost from, like, if I teleport her. Varna's down. Alright, what healers do I want to leave? What do I want to bring out? This burn is certainly going to be guarding. Uh, no, there's probably not sprint on cav mat. Don't you only get sprint with, uh... Flying dude. Flying mat. She's kind of useless. Because she just debuffs. You know what? Let's bring assassin mat. Two seventeen currently. What's your score, Xavier? To get that. I think he's fine with this. Oh, nineteen oh one. That that is risky because a lot of people tonight and tomorrow are just going to be trying to hit Lang. Uh, Lang plus one win gets them over you, so. Yeah, that's fair. Taking an L definitely sucks. You won't get demoted, though. You'll go to 1901 first. Does she have anything useful for Cherie? No. I don't even know how to play her. Like, what skills does she use? 
I've never, literally never used her. Mass resist, eh? She's fine how she is. Yeah, the thing is, if you're gonna be, if you're worried about the bubble, it's better to play sooner rather than later, because, like, if you do lose that game, uh, then you can kind of catch back up. Oh, uh, well, Mass Protect is still fine. It's gonna stop, uh, Burnheart from heal blocking us. So yeah, like, if you do lose a game, at least you have more time to, like, come back from it. Alright, Najin successfully stream-sniped us. It is tank burn. If it's a tank burn, I can't stun it because of Rosen. So I basically need my assassins to kill this. I have to kill this twice. It's possible. It's possible. There are a few ways I can do it. Well, there are a few things that will contribute to the doing of it. I can ignore guard with Matthew, although his ability to actually get kills... Excuse me, I'm not super confident of. I've also got an unbuffed Cherie. And he's got his, uh, his long-range AoE, so he can potentially pick off a weakened unit from far away. Without having to worry about Bernhardt guarding. He does want to be away from his team to trigger this, uh, his talent. Is it just one space away? Yeah. <laughs> Kong has a very bong cloud box. That quote is going on the movie poster, Kampa. <laughs> Can she reach me? Yeah, she can reach me. Um, you're gonna stay right here. What order is he going to do stuff in? Don't worry, Najin. I'm not going to tilt my hand. I know you said you were leaving, but... There's too much on the line. Yeah, I'm less concerned about um, the turn one Lucretia single target, more that she has black holes, so she could also just, uh, even without Tiaris, reach my team with an AoE. Uh, I did 
didn't bring angels on this. I really wanted to teleport Cherie right now. doing that yet. Not doing that yet. Yeah, that would have been an option, Meow. Okay, he's gonna hide her. I think I make the teleport play. I think I make it now, because either I can run in for the puppet... I mean, I'll be in burn aura, which sucks. That's the thing, Meow. He can block with Tiaras, but if he blocks with Tiaras, I'll just hit Tiaras. So I don't really mind. In fact, blo blocking with TRS might be better for me because I can hit her and then run farther away. Um, not sure what my final rank is on main account yet, Carlos, just because the it still remains to be seen whether, um... Oh yeah, you're right, that is an option, Meow, if I just, like, leave... Still kill the puppet. That's a fine use of Sherry, I think. I don't need to 3C this thing, do I? Guess it doesn't matter. She's not going to be stunning anyone. So that range is all burn, but he's not going to want burn to abandon his team. Because he's the tank. Anyway, going back to my uh, main account, Carlos, I'm at like 1928 or something right now, which is, uh, last I checked, rank like 150. So I'd be very surprised if, um, I'd be very surprised if it's going to drop 100 spots. Uh, if it's going to drop 100 spots in one day, so. <laughs> Luke has already acted. But the freebie runs have been going okay so far. I've only played one game before this one, and I won it and got 60 points. So we're well on the way to bronze one. We're almost bronze one. And we queued in against loyal follower Najin. Our good friend, who definitely stream sniped us. <laughs> 
The thing about Matthew is I have no way of reaching her as long as he keeps her way back there. But he can't keep her back there forever. He can't keep her back there forever. He just can't. You know it. I know it. This doesn't have sword dance. She can't reach anything. He does. He does have TS. He has TS. He does not have Arcane Battle Garb. Which, I do have one for him. I should put it on him. Yeah, Spike, if, uh, if 1901 is in the playoffs, then that's kind of a dark day in Langrisser history. But I think there are going to be a lot of people just trying to get one win past Lang tonight and tomorrow. I said, like, one day is not really enough time for 100 people to pass me. Uh, but one day is definitely enough time for a lot of people to pass 1901, so risky. See, even with uh, Strike, my Matthew can't get around this guy. Oh, he is coming in with the burn! Oh my goodness! Goodness gracious! I guess he has turn priority. He has turn priority, that's fine. That's fine. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, she's coming in for the heal. That's fine. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, for one, uh, Meow, his troops are terrible, but my Sky Archers are fully leveled. Yeah, Taffer, that's right. I mean, the barrier to entry for the game itself is relatively high. I mean, getting into a gotcha that's three years old... Uh, you're going to be dealing with just a certain sliver of the population. And then getting to the point where you can PvP. Like, I think as players drop out of PvP, there are going to be players who've been playing for a couple of years who haven't really been at the top of the uh, rankings, who become, like, ready. I almost feel like just attacking this burn again is probably better, but I... So the Rosen has already moved. I mean, I guess he can get a heal from this. Yeah, Death Crystal, we're definitely bleeding. My point is just that... And I don't think that the bleed is going to be, like, entirely covered by new players who are, like, who started one or two years ago. But my point is more that um, if we're going to we're gonna see people who are starting to Apex, it's not going to be the people who are just, like, picking up the game now. Like, there are people who started playing a year ago or two years ago that we haven't really seen on the scene, so to speak. And uh, they're going to be the ones who start to appear on the scene.
どうかしましたか It doesn't make sense for me to attack that. No, Freya's terrible. Freya, you're so terrible. Why are you terrible? Maybe your Freya's not terrible, DC, but mine is, uh,. Well, it's terrible. <laughs> it's just this. Like, I just literally just unlocked her SP class, like, last week on FreeCon. Uh, my redeemers aren't maxed. I think they're, like, level 9. I do seriously need to build her up. So he's going to have turn prio. And he can black hole me. So do I hide the Matthew? I mean, he is kind of my win con. Maybe you hide, Matthew. Bring you in later. Yeah, you think Iris's 3C is going to get me back up into killing shape? No reason not to at least pluck one attack off. Well, I guess that's why. There is no reason. He just healed back up. <laughs> Does it dispel everything, though? Does it dispel everything? Oh, Burn could just kill her. Burn could kill her! Oh, he's gonna try! Oh, no! Oh, we got her! <laughs> All right, Matthew, it's your time to shine. To be honest, Matthew can kind of hang now. I need a refill. Oh no, maybe he can't hang. He's getting barbed. Huh. that worth it? Yep, that's worth it. I honestly don't need Matthew anymore, either. This is the Hashiba show now. What rank is this? This is currently rank Bronze 2. Thank you for the follow, Cowboy Dan TV. Enjoy your Seal Guardian.
He would love to be able to end a turn away from her. Yeah, if he can go here, that's away from her. I just wanted to be able to reset. Oh, he can't do it for a couple turns anyway. Well, we'll AoE now. Well, now we won't. This guy's still guarding, right? Burns guarding too, right? Passively. Whatever, I'll get this guy off the board. Alright, Burn, do your thing. You have no choice now. You've got to attack her and see what kind of splash damage you can do. <laughs> All right, good play, Najin. Good game. Glad you got to see some uh, some more Apex action. And with that, we've got ourselves a bit of a rank up situation on our hands. Bronze won with a fifty percent win rate, cresting that glorious fifty percent. Thanks for the game, Najin. It was good. Uh, what was I going to change? What was I going to change? What was I going to change? Was I going to put different gear on Matthew? I think I might want a battle garb. I don't know if I have a well-rolled battle garb. Who else do I have here? Thanks for the follow, Anti-Hypervenom. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Let's hope I actually have one. Oh my god, Matthew's so terrible. Uh, I wasn't necessarily using him as an assassin, Meow. I was uh, hoping to use him for AoE comboing. Otherwise, I would have a different weapon for him. Okay, we have this, but it doesn't have any attack on it. I don't know if it's worth it. don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I guess I can throw some rolls at it. There's some attack. I'll take it. Matthew doesn't need hit points. What do you need hit points for, Matthew? Good enough. Alright, back to the trenches. Someone else wanted to see someone's troops or, or training or something. Obviously, I can't go th through my whole training field right now because it would take the entire window. Uh, we'll just see troop selection when I get into the next fight. If I get Hashiba. Kata, Vargas is definitely on the short list of people to sub into this box if things don't go well. Oh, Meow, you must have missed my first game. Isara, I played Isara in the first game. Uh, against this guy. This is definitely the same guy. <laughs> and he knows he's up against me, too. Okay, he first bans a healer, so I'm going to want to first pick a healer here. That's so disgusting. I banned his Yulia last time. I'm going to do it. Let's see if he bans all my AoEs, because it was basically, like, AoE comboage. Well, it was a Luin clock. Yeah, there goes the Luin. <laughs> okay, first, he gets a healer. I can just ban his tanks. Why was he so worried about first picking a healer? I guess he can tank with ulti. 
Maybe he's just gonna rush me this time. Oh no, let's go Isara for my tank. Meow wanted to see Isara in action. We'll bring her into the action. She's very killable. She's so... She's not built like a tank at all. She's just here for the AoE. And AoE she shall. I mean, yeah, okay, Carlos. You got me on a technicality. She's She is a tank. She's a... Uh... She's very soft. Supple tank. Banning more AoEs, that's fine. Bozelay. Hmm, I don't like that. That's dark. Uh, these magic things. Now, maybe my Cherie can kill this Bozel? Like, if this is... If this is, uh, the Merc, maybe my Cherie can kill it? I don't know if Cherie or, like, Pyrotas is my better Bozel killer. We're gonna go with Cherie just because she is better built. Poor old Free Kong. I mean, she has around 500 attack. Yeah, we're gonna go with an ulti ban now. And probably a Helena ban. I'm just thinking of who else is worrisome here. Uh, maybe Luna, just for the mobility. Um... Because he could potentially put ground troops on Bozel. I don't know. Luna's easy to kill. Luna's easy to kill. That's my problem with banning Luna. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, let's do it. We'll go ahead and bring Sheebs. Okay, so he, ban he bans out my last tank. Yeah, I'm gonna take the act again, and I'm gonna take this. I just don't know about that Leon and the non-SP Cherie. They're less worrisome. So we got the whole Shiba squad out. Toma Hashiba, Shiba Raku, we got Isara, who's an honorary Shiba. <laughs> this is the first time in a while we've had the full Shiba squad, the, the rare double Shiba. Maybe I bring angels on her. Well, I want her potential Bozel assassination to be as high as possible, so I think no angels. We do want her guarding. Big Sheba's fine. This is Big Sheba, in case anyone was wondering. This is Little Sheba. She has this clutch heal, too. Clutch! Oh, 
All right, first of all, non-SP Elwyn, he does have rain. That is something to look out for. He has the 3C as well. So what's rain? Another uh, three blocks. Another three blocks. Bowser, typical Bowser setup. Uh, double flying Cherie is about to get Tomad. She can increase their mobility as well. I'm just going to hang back ish. Yeah, Elwyn, uh, Elwyn with the SP stuff not in SP form is very sneaky because a lot of people don't even check skills. Cucumber, welcome to the stream. I'm very interested in seeing how this guy will play, because in his first game he played very close to the tank, like he stuck with his Landius. Oh, we've got a Hashiba in action, and we've got Shibaraku in action. Cucumber, the only question is whether it's going to be uh, actual good, valuable Shiba action. We're hoping, though. Okay, Bozel moving up one. is good action okay then you won't be disappointed perfect i don't have to worry about disappointing you with the results of the shiba expedition i mean he he's gonna kill shiri Trying to figure out where she can get her uh, act again. Like, if she shivs to here, she gets two rings. So I can plunk Cherie right here. And she can hit Bozel. This turn. Yeah, I mean, if she if she Tiaris is right now, but then uh, Cherie will already be here. So then if I teleport Cherie, then he uses Tiaris, then Cherie goes. So it's kind of too late for Rosa to pick her off at that point. Tank Girl is not going to be guarding magic damage, no. She just has the standard Lance Phalanx, so it'll guard, um, like, it'll guard these, but let's be honest, Elwyn, I don't know, I don't know, through Golden Knights, Double Cav, this can kill her for sure. The Cherie can kill her too. All right, I can just bounce off the Elwyn now. I don't need to run away.
I'll deal with Rosa later. Yeah, I mean, she's scary, but the point is, at least Isara can guard me from all of these, so, like, they have to come in and she can soak up a hit, and then I can theoretically counter-kill whoever they send in. Yeah, I mean, to Taffer, to Meow's point, even if Bozel had hit my whole team, I do have Iris's 3C up my sleeve, which could kind of help me recover it. Uh, but Bozel is like three AoEs. So whoever he has here to send into my team, they basically, they have no choice but to kill Isara instead of one of my actual units. So I'm happy to wait for him to do that. She can sword to get in. He can get in. I'm just thinking, like, I want to do this. I can move back two spaces, is it? Or how many spaces can I move back? Oh, I can move three. So I can move back into guarding range after doing this. Some mobility loss, some minor mobility loss there. That's not me laughing at this opponent. He's doing his best. I'm just laughing at Hashiba. Like, Hashiba's so funny. So funny. I just love him. It's ridiculous. Do you think he's going to come in with one of these units? can't decide whether I want to keep her back for a heal, or whether I want to keep him back to counterattack someone. I think I want to keep Sheba back. So we'll see if he comes in with Sherry. Like, he's got a 1-2 punch here. Okay, he's not going to do it. He'll probably come in, maybe he'll come in with Elwyn right at the end. Yeah, he's going to come with Elwyn. That's okay. Sarah lives. Should we... I don't know if this is going to kill Elwyn, of all people. No, that's not going to kill Elwyn. So should we kill... Cherie? I don't even know if this is going to kill Cherie. 
He can't reach. Hmm. Huh. What do you know? Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Oh no, she heals before the AoE goes off. Hmm, sad. Big sad. Big sad. Big sad. Now Elwyn can do more Elwyn things. Yeah, he smartly um, first banned my Angelica. I never thought I'd see a first ban Angelica, but she was the old uh, faction buffer for all these guys. You have to be careful of that. Toma is definitely putting in serious work. He's going to come back to life stunned, isn't he? Drats. That's not good. I don't like a stunned Sheba. That's dispellable, but like, if I dispel it, then Iris dies. He can use sword to get Hashiba here. Or Iris. Oh, it's not dispellable. Oh, so it can't. So it can't. Well, let's just run then. I guess he's just gonna croak. They can just combo him. Thoroughly comboed. Well, now he has the reach advantage on me. He did pop Wild Princess, though. Reach advantage! The other problem with this situation is uh, Hashiba can kill one of these, but not both. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Whoever I uh, don't hit is going to kill him. Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't have his extra range either. They got me. This bronze one dude. Oh, here he comes. Say goodbye to Hashiba. This is what happens when you put the weight of expectations on one Hashiba's shoulders. R.I.P. Shiba. Oh my gosh. I lost one point. Is that is that grounds for a box change? If I change my box, I would probably be dropping Matthew and someone else for Vargas and Lance. Maybe the Freya. Well, Freya's good because she buffs this. Maybe the Varna. Maybe the Varna. Eins is pretty shit, that's true. Eins is pretty shit. But he does have AoEs. And he does draw bans. So I'm actually thinking Varna, Varna and Matthew. I don't know if I have Lance geared. Obviously not if he's way down here. Or Vargas. What's Vargas's gear even? Uh, if I'm tentatively going to put them in the box... Let's just take a look and make sure I have gear for them. Vargas, obviously you can't go in nude, but I think you have stuff. I think you have stuff I can throw on you. What's his accessory? Ah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You're good, Vargas. You're good. You're good, man. What about Lance, though? Lance shares gear a lot, so I'm worried. Where's your rag? Oh, Varna had it. Well, she's getting kicked out, so that's perfectly fine. And you want... Well, what you want... I'll just throw that on you. Yeah, Parn is built-ish. Why, do you think I should put Parn in? The thing is, he's just another single target. We'll do a couple games with this and just see how it goes. So we got Lance. He buffs Empire. He buffs, uh... I guess that equals Vargas and Hein. But he's also a member of Glory, so he can just be a DPS on his own as well. And Vargas, obviously, is a Vargas. So we all know what Varguses do. What's with SP Narm? She is a Narm. She exists. She usually shares gear with Hashiba, and there's no way I'm dropping Hashiba. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. No, this is not. No, this is not. We didn't fight this guy already. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a, a, a box that's a danger to a Free Kong style box. This is dangerous. True, she is good for sprint, that's true. I would consider chucking her in here, but I'd have to think of someone to drop. Okay, he's going to get burn. I don't want you. Ah, uh, let's face it, I don't want anyone in here. I mean, I guess I can leave you if I pick Vargas. Just pick, get rid of these assassins. Ah. Uh. 
I can't fight anything in here, Cucumber. Yeah, I might want to AoE this. I might want to AoE this. I don't think my Cherie is going to be killing much. Like, these are bulky. There's a lot of bulk in here and burn with his aura. I might just have to AoE it. But I really hate first picking Ainz. Especially after I dropped Varna from my box and Matthew, who are two AoE units. Let's let's get Grenier in just because he's been first banned like 75% of these matches. We'll see what his next pick is. We'll see what he wants to play. I think uh, either Reen, well, I think Bozel and Kruger both have to come out. Now I need something that can deal with a burn, a potential Lewin, a potential Reen. Pine might not be bad. Pine probably did. Well, all my units are probably dead to uh, good Ares just because. Most of my units are built paper thin, like I don't really have HP rolls on anyone. So Toma, for example, is dead to a single flap of Ares' wing. praying for no good Ares. In my experience, there are a lot of, like, big, thick, well-built characters in Bronze, just from people who play PvP or just never really advance, or they just play a couple games here and there. I mean, the guy has Reen, so he's been playing for a while. So he's gonna have two healers, which makes... AoE kind of not super good against him. Alright, I guess I better get a healer out. don't think I'm going to need Teleport, because I'm not going to be, like, trying to make Snipe plays against him. God, he's so terrible. I might want her heal. I, yeah, I don't care about displacement. These are all buffed. She's not...
she could be. But also, why wouldn't I just bring mass attack at this point? I mean, I really don't even need mass attack. I could bring more healing. She'll be fine. Let's see how it goes. McDuck. Oh, with the Sheba avatar and everything. What a champ. Okay. You're welcome on this stream, McDuck. He's definitely going to want to get in there. Oh, he's not even AoE. Well, he has his follow-up AoE, but it is a single target Ares. Yeah. See, this is where uh, I'm actually kind of liking the mass attack, because I can put Grenier in guard stance. I don't have to worry about him not having... still more important. Ares has about a hundred less skill than Grenier. Yep, just gotta live the three C. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be chucking uh, Mass Attack and whatever um, whatever her hat does. She's got the electric hat, so that's fine. Oh, you mean, yeah, you mean the buff from Asara's Eel, yeah. to hold her back just in case I do need to heal. Like, if he does try to come in with this... Ooh. 
burn with the breeze. Burn can sword dance me here. I guess that's what he'll do. Do that first. Oh well. Sometimes your freebies only account gets utterly outclassed. <laughs> yeah, burn first, that's the smart move. Silence kind of doesn't matter. All right, let's see what injured Grenier can do here. We got a preemptive counter. All right, Grenier lives. The only thing is, Grenier dies now, right? I can't heal him. Hmm. So he, he takes one hit now. His job is to take one hit. That's the thing I want to kill first. Should have brought more single target. Alright, so Grenier takes one more hit. Is it going to be a hit from Rosa or a hit from Ares? Ouch. Well, this is Sarah's dead, so I might as well get an AoE off. I don't know if that's who I want to AoE. I could also run him away... to clear the can't be healed. Then can she run all the way in and get him, though? This would clear his can't be healed, and then she could heal him next turn. I think I don't need Hein anymore. I think I don't need Hein anymore. I 
think I'd rather have Grenier, to be honest. Grenier's stronger than Hein against what he has left. Ah, uh, Flaming Ice, is there a reason I don't use SP Hein? Yes. Free Kong can't unlock SP Hein. In order to get SP Hein, you need to have Elwin, and Free Kong is not allowed to have Elwin, so... Can't do it. I can actually, uh, to be fair, to answer your question a little bit more fairly, I can unlock the first part of SP Hine, like the class. You just need Elwin for the second half. So, I mean, yeah, I guess I could unlock, like, the first bit of uh, SP Hine, but I'll work on it eventually. I had, my priorities were the SP characters that I actually uh, fully unlocked. Yeah, I think heal Grenier first. There's no way I can reach a Sarah, is there? Alright, what's your move? Who's the biggest threat? Are you going to try to kill uh, Hein, or are you going to try to kill my 4 HP Asara? Technically, Asara's the smart move, because she's the one who still has an action. Or are you going to come all the way in for Grenier? That's something you can also do. No, you're going to go for that Asara. Thank you, Freed. It's just a joy to see you in here. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that was. Maybe it's just force of habit, like you use your best skill to make the enemy dead. <laughs> the question is, Meow, I have turn priority now, what am I going to do with said turn priority? Get Hein back to safety is certainly an option. I can get him under guard just by moving Grenier up. That gets Hein under... that gets everyone under guard. Grenier's buffs are wearing thin, though. get into Lance range. Get some uh, turf healing.
Yep. Lone Bird knows. He's a Grenier user. Grenier main confirmed. Two healers with single heal. Her three C's gone for a bit. I need to get back in there somehow. Okay, he has no real threats left, so I can kind of position more aggressively to get ready for next turn, like bring Grenier up to here. I mean, I guess he could just single target Mage. Yeah, no sense in getting too creative. No sense in getting too creative. It's not like Lance has the best magic defense. I have to be prepared to get into uh, cross formation anyway, because his guard is going to be dropping after his next action. So I think Angelica just comes up here and chills, and then next turn Grenier is going to come in here. Okay, he has his act again back. McDuck, the Shiba avatar user, with Free Kong on the ropes. She would be able to hit Hein if I left him out to dry, so I guess he just comes in here. Or... No. I'm just kidding. Soon, though. Can Rosa reach with just the sword? No, she wouldn't be able to reach... So if I put Gren here... If I put Gren here, Angelica's not in danger yet. Yeah, I don't move him first. I'm just considering his, um... Like, what my positioning is going to look like next turn. Alright, we got a breeze on Hein. I wish I had a Tenyo's on her now so that I could potentially breeze someone mean like Lance. But I don't, so I can't. Okay, that's the AA off the table for this turn. Cucumber, I feel ya. This dude is not going to come in with Ares this turn. I considered that meow, but I'm keeping, uh... Grenier, remember Grenier himself is also a potential counter kill, so... Depending on what kind of shape he's in after whatever attacks, attacks. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be an attack this turn. I 
don't want to leave her out to dry, but I don't think he can reach. No, he can't reach. I have turn priority anyway. But I'm going to want to use it to put up my guard, so I'll do the safe thing this turn. Right, he's definitely going to want to Ares here. Eventually. Oh no, his single target's still not up, it's just the 3C part. So it would just be a normal attack next turn. Or I guess he can position and then AA the Ares and Ares as a skill up. You can do the same thing with her. She's two actions away from her 3C. <laughs> yeah, nice Hopium. It depends on dispels. I'm not in a rush to move from this spot. Other than the fog, obviously. But I can move up a space at a time. Let him make the first move, and then see if I can clean up the wreckage. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Damn, I don't want to sacrifice Lance to kill that. It's so juicy, though. I need Lance. Uh, that's no, Lance doesn't have move again. Okay, so the Rosa is going to be coming to take her shot. And then he's going to want to follow up. With the Ares. Where is he? What is happening right now? What is going on? What have I done?
Oh yeah, he's on backup time. I've been on backup time for like the last three turns. Oh, Grenier's enormous! Look at him! That's actually not good. He takes more damage in enormous mode. But he's really enormous. Grenier got swole, even swoler. Come on, you gotta do it now. You came all this way. What is happening? Cucumber, you're right. You wanted to come out and see bronze matches. Well, this is a bronze match for the ages. That's a really weird way to fog me out. The Grenier counter kills this. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I think um I think part of what Muhammad said is true. That I think it came to a point in the game where he was like, "You know what? It's Free Kong. Enjoy your victory." <laughs> Which one gives me more attack? Death break. Okay, you can run all the way away or you can run into the fog. What's your bronze play now, McDuck? Sound like a Disney villain. What's your play now, McDuck? Yeah, just heal up to get ready for what's coming. Oh, the Bolt Rangers! Bolt Rangers survived her! Who wants to deal the final blow? Probably Grenier, right? Maybe it won't even be the final blow. Najin, there's another hour left. Sixty points, baby! Here we come! Silver on the horizon! I think I'm going to keep Lance and Vargas in just because Lance actually got to uh, kill some stuff there. Two kills for Lance in that match. Yes, thankfully that one point back in my clutches. If I win this match, and I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch then I'll be in silver. It'll be Free Kong, it'll be uh, time for some silver silliness. Okay, this is not the same dude. Look at this box though, look at this. We've got an Epsilon, we've got an IBC, Lucretia. Lucretia's going. Can't handle Lucretia. I wonder how Tristan's games are going. Let's check my messages. I did mute him when I started streaming. Uh-oh! Oh no! I think Tristan killed Thousand Ninjas. I know ATN was uh, hopping in hoping to ladder as well. Rosen, huh?
Actually, with no tanks, what do I care about? I care about... Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to pick Lewin with this box. Yeah, said, if you, uh... If you're tired of meta, then Free Kong's Bronze Stream is definitely the right place to go. Yeah, no, this is a problem. That's a problem, that's a problem. Mmm... She buffs Lewin. She buffs Lewin, so she does one thing. The other thing she doesn't do, though, is survive an attack. Particularly an attack from this. Probably this. Now I have to take a healer. Dude's banning me out. Banning out my healers? Uh, Elwyn was not one of them. These are both bad. Yeah, let's just take for granted that Ares is going to AoE kill every unit in my box. Really, uh, he's kind of got to go Ares here. Like, this is the perfect time to pick Ares. Wow, yeah, second banning the Hashiba, too, by the way. Oh, I didn't think he would ban Vargas. I didn't think he would do it, but he did. He did. I didn't think he would, but he did. Moondoggy, you made it. Lance and Sheba are both decent picks here. I like Sheba because he can survive Sherry. How do I deal with Bozel? I don't. I mean, I heal back once um, and then kill him. Trust me, there's a lot of things this box doesn't deal with. <laughs> I assume you mean Freya. They should be built. Uh, we don't have a buff for him, so he's going to want to bring his buff. Now Sheba's the only one unbuffed. What's her 2C thorn skill? 
Which one? This one? To regard. Ah, uh, yeah, it is going to get dispelled, isn't it? You're fine. She's got... Well, I don't think I need a teleport play in this game, so I think I bring her other heal. Whatevs. Let's see what happens. Cowboy Dan, didn't you just follow me? Another stream sniper. Garsh darn it. <laughs> Two stream snipers in one stream. I guess it was bound to happen. What do we got? Typical Elwyn, typical Bozel, typical Cherie, typical Rosen. And uh, uh, an atypical Hawk Rider Luna. Yeah, she has raid. Everyone wants a piece. We got Hawk Riders, boys! Bozel is coming. He knows what he wants. Damn, I should have uh, I should have had teleport. I should have had teleport. I could have gone in and got him. Two, three, four, five. So Lewin's in the danger zone right now. So I want to get him out of the danger zone. It might be unbuilt warlocks, it might be that he doesn't realize that this doesn't buff Bozel's movement. Could also be that. <clears throat> Freed's ready. Cowboy Dan with the good box. Good box. Lots of good units deployed against me. Sherry's coming. Alright, turn priority Sherry. Guard Ignory. actually going to kill, though. She can kill Lance. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to need it, Meow. Like, he's not going to use his, uh, his move this turn. And by the time he gets in here, Lewin's going to have ready access to who he wants to have access to. So she can kill Lance. But if she does, she doesn't act again. I think I'm okay here. Do I want her to kill Lance? I don't want Lance dead, obviously. Maybe I go all the way back. Oh, she can probably kill Lance. It's just Lance. I mean, he's on a tree, but she should be able to kill him.
Yeah, my Lance, uh, Lance doesn't have a bracer either. He's on an attack accessory, so she busts his last rights. So, I mean, if I wanted to build him bulky, Free Kong certainly has enough bracers to go around. Alright, who's your first dude? Who's the first move? Sherry can get her act again if she kills Lance from here. So if you're watching, cowboy, and I know you are, that's where you kill Lance, and then you can stun. Or run away. Tristan's doing other than that one win against ATN. Okay, he's not rushing in anymore. With Luna gone, this Cherie can't hit this turn. Elwyn can. Yeah, he does really want to open with Bozal. He doesn't... The thing is, he doesn't need Bozal to weaken me in order for his attack to be effective. I mean, he's going to be opening with Bozal, period. Because he still has turn priority, so... Not really doing it. It is enticing, though. Yeah, you say Bozel's the only risk, theoretically. Um, but with this box, like, any of his DPS are threats. The Cherie's a threat because she can kill anyone except this. And the Elwyn probably straight up kills this Freya. She's not... Well, I mean, I guess the... We're hoping that the Phalanx put in some serious work here. Sheba can initiate. Okay. 
I don't have any follow-up to help him, though. Lance can't get in. Okay, he already popped his heal. I mean, if Shiva goes in, he's probably toast. Okay, opens with the Sherry stun. That's fine, because that's going to stun Shiba when he comes back to life. I think I need to let loose with the other AoE now. Maybe not quite yet. It gets Lewin in position, assuming he survives, to be able to follow up with something. So yeah, no more follow-up other than getting Lewin guardable, so it depends. Okay, he's gonna go um, Elwyn first. I don't think he has Grassland from there. So Lewin lives. Freya, you think Freya's AoE can kill that? 2,000 hit points on the Elwyn. I mean, there's no reason not to try it, uh, other than I want to keep him guarded. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. Let's just do it, just for you. No dice. We'll do it this way. Alright, now it's Bozel time. Look, he comes right here and just absolutely abozelates my whole team. He doesn't even need to move up. He abozelates us all anyway. Oh, Iris silenced! That's not good. 
Yeah, I should put a bracer on her, Meow. I was just too lazy preparing my team before this, uh... Before this window. For tomorrow's stream, you can bet she's gonna be Silence Immune. Actually, probably for the game right after this one. I just chucked whatever, like, uh... Max level crystal accessory I had on her. How's Bozel dead? Can't reach. Oh, I can reach with Lance. This is a pretty courageous attempt. Oh, nice! Well, that is another one that uh, Free Kong clutches from the jaws of OP units. OP on paper. And that's our silver. I don't need a silver a crystal ball, my man. We're just going to chuck a bracer on her. Who has my crystal bracer? Sophia, she's not even in this box. Yes, thank you for the celebrations in the chat. Free Kong uh, revels in your congratulations. What is the season reward? Oh yeah, it's the sweet little bird skin. That's a unit that uh, Free Kong can't even unlock the bonds for, so I don't mind missing out on Alfred's skin. Oh man, OP. 14 crystals, too. Alright, team, what do you think? Are we going to stick with the Lance and Vargas box? So far, Lance has been an MVP in two matches that we've played with him. I think we do. We got a match right away. Things are bumping in silver. Wow. Okay, we got a Leaden in here. We got a Lestel. We got a Lana. We got a Yulia. Freed, I already did. You missed it. It was so fast. She's got a bracer on now. This is interesting. What an interesting box. We've got a, a Narm as well. Lots of princess in here. Lots and lots of princess. So much princess. This person knows that it's Free Kong already. We can't have another snipe, can we? Another snipe? No. That would be too mean. You know who gets first picked here? Motherfucking Grenier! Yeah, I don't think it would make as much sad, uh, make him sad as much as we uh, like to maliciously imagine, because he also has a couple, uh, a nice glory line here. Okay, so he's going after my healers next, which means I have one healer left. I can ban his tanks now, though. One healer left. He's running tankless. 
tankless. It's now like tankless glory rush box. There goes Toma. And Lewin. Okay, Elwin. Let's Vargas. Let's Vargas it up. So let's get rid of some of these mages. Actually, we can keep her because Grenier will guard her. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. And we'll bring Varg. Oh, Vargi! Earth, how's the climb going? The climb is going pretty good. I got from Bronze 2 up to Silver 3 now, so I'm uh, fighting my first match in the Silver ranks. But they've been pretty meme-worthy fights so far. We've had a couple couple stream snipes, um, a couple where the opponent did some very mysterious things. All right, we're getting Lance next, boys. We've got uh, got a deploy of faction buff for Old Vargi. Okay, Grenier's gonna guard this. Let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of this. We'll get Lance out here with faction buff, a Lance faction buff, and then no matter who I'm left with, I have someone, someone good. Actually, if he leaves me with both tanks, that's kind of sad. <clears throat> that would be the one sad scenario. After this battle, I'm definitely going to go top up my beverage, even though there will only be, like, 30 minutes left. That's probably time to get into Silver 2 if we have good luck. Alright, what do we want? Do we want to just go ham with Ainz? No, Ainz is useless against this. Look, two healers? No, we can't Ainz. We've got to Asara. I could even faction buffer if I wanted to, although that would be kind of a waste. Single target Ainz. Yeah, that was a possibility. That was a possibility. Oh. Uh, the only thing about single target Ainz, though, Meow, is that my Ainz has like 300 int. He's so bad. Uh, we'll throw Lance out here. Although, can Narm? Narm can ignore guard when she's attacking him, right? Because he's a flyer. Let's put him back here. We'll get a Sarah. Grenier is already. She's already. Yeah, I'll fix Ainz eventually. I'll fix him eventually. Uh, oh, he wants Lancers. What am I thinking? Gren's fine. Yeah. Everyone has faction buff except her, but she doesn't need it. I mean, I guess I could bring it. Is there any reason not to bring it? Yeah, why not? Oh, so he does. So he does. Yeah, good point. Good point. Let's have some. Let's have something on her that she can contribute with. And he has his faction buff, so everyone is looking pretty decent. Let's see how she goes. Atticus Finn. Is that a name I recognize? I feel like I know Atticus Finn. I feel like I've seen Atticus around. Oh, we've got AoE on Rosen. Very intriguing. Oh, and we've got a uh, Freeze Strike Liana as well. Yeah, I think this person's on our server too, Arth. That would explain why I recognize the name. Okay, she can hit whoever she wants next turn, so what is she gonna do? What's she gonna do?
she's going to render me unable to guard. Death Queen, you're not too late. Is she going to do that now, though? Reason arm is pretty good. Gonna stay back here though. Is SP Narm really worth building? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Not for PvP, certainly. If you're here's the thing about SP Narm. If you're like just a PVE player who just wants to like zip around maps and do stuff, I use <clears throat> I use SP Narm on this Free Kong account for PVE stuff. I just want to see how this guy's going to initiate. Because with my team, I don't have a great deal of, like, counter-killing or counter-trading potential. <clears throat> uh, Death Queen, I think I'm, like, 4-1 and one right now. So I climbed from 1100, or 1101 to 1301. No, oh, Elwyn can come in this turn if he wants. Hey, Lone Bird. Let's have some respect. This is silver. Ah, uh, no, this is not a Bracer, Elwyn. Well, he's getting set up for the OP combo. Everyone can reach. Everyone who matters can reach. She can even reach by teleporting in. So it looks like we're going to have a, a triple pop. We're going to have a triple pop. Question is who's the pop gonna be on? Narm's gonna turn off guard on someone. <clears throat> if he was gonna jump in next turn, he should have uh, should have brought miracle on her. Triple pop time. Narm goes first. Question is, who does she want to disable guard on? She probably wants to disable guard on... Well, there's benefits to both. If she disables guard on Grenier, then no one's guarding magic. He's gonna... Not quite a counter kill, but it hurt. Can't punish it. So he's not guarding now, right? Oh, until I... Until I just end his turn. Like, 
he gets his guard back right now, doesn't he? Those are only one turn debuffs. Is this permanent? This doesn't have a timer on it. Oh well, let's just uh, see what goes away. The other one was one turn. Yeah, that's still there. I just live with this now. That's okay. We got my faction buff off anyway. So, he wants to come up with, um... Grenier's guarding magic, so t just could potentially kill him. this again. Why doesn't she just do that again? I was also briefly tempted to turn Grenier into a Lancer. So Grenier's guarding against t just Magic. He's guarding against Elwyn. I guess if he wants to Elwyn into Vargas to force Grenier to guard it. So this, this thing can kill Lance, can't it? guys can turtle. Oh, I guess I need uh, Grenier to guard him. wants to act again Narm. Now that is a really convoluted way of... I mean, that's exactly what he's gonna do, but... I think I do turn this into Lance? Well, it doesn't matter if he's going to be disabled. We'll see what he does first. I mean, obviously, one of these units is going to be doing damage to my team that she's going to want to heal from. I have faction buff now, so maybe I do counter killer this time. Yeah, I do. I just straight up counter killer. Zero damage. So she does have free strike. I don't even know if I want. Yeah, I don't even know if I want him to be Lance. Like, he's just gonna eat something. I mean, he'll eat Elwyn like this. So let's just fucking... Mass heal.
Unfortunately, no extra gigantic Grenier this time. I feel like Isara's big, though. Can she reach yet? No, she can't reach. Sad girl. All these units are units that I can use. So Asara is the least useful, so she goes first. Lance is the next least useful, so Lance goes next. Yeah, Vargas, uh, Vargas is a good counter killer. Lance is also a good counter killer, though. He has bonuses against Elwyn uh, as a horse. So these guys are both. Oh my gosh, look at that! Mm, love it. I really got to break two thousand on him, though. What a slacker! Just free Kong slacking along. Disgraceful. Just disgraceful. So he has two threats now, and I have decent tanks against them. I mean, this can hurt Grenier, or Vargas, and this can hurt Grenier, so... He can't get into Lance anyway. thing about standing here, though, is I get my sweet ballista range. Gotta creep up, though. So Lance is coming out next. Lance can come out. Uh, Cucumber, I think when people say wait with Lance, they don't mean wait in place. Get her! Oh, get her! Grenier! That is game. Pretty much. Grenier, or uh, Elwyn willingly bringing himself in for the offering. <laughs> Not even going to heal him. Go big or go home. That was a fine attempt. Grenier is good. Um, I have a particularly good SP Grenier. I mean, can, all things considered, like it's a freebie account on Lushiris Gate, but he's pretty solid, so... He's so small! 
back here. Oh, we got one. No, Lance. How could you? How could you? Oh, Grenier sucks. Liana OP. Uh, there's only, like, ten minutes left in the window. I guess this guy figures he's only getting, like, one more game in. So he doesn't- he's not in a rush to retreat, despite the... ...really quite respectable loss to... ...multiple Grenier preemptive counters. Three for three, Grenier! <laughs> Love him! Alright, we're down into the realm where we're only getting 39 points for a win now. I know I said I was going to top up my drink, but there's no real sense in having a nice, crispy, sparkling beverage for only 10 minutes left of the window, so I'll get another match in. Yeah, the old, uh, the Grenier preemptive counters really opened that game up. Fully killing Narm from full with uh, with taking no damage. Jesus, it scared the shit out of me. Okay, this is another interesting box. We've got a Lambda, a Sage, a Shelf. Ha, ah, Lana, Yulia. We've got an Elmo in here. Freya and Landius are the tanks. Yeah, I guess if I first ban Rosen, do we really think this person is going to first pick Elmo? Is that what we think? I probably should just be smart and get rid of DPS. I can't really ban AoE just because there's so much of it. Atticus! Oh man, what a good game! That was such a good game. Thank you for that match. I'm glad you got to match up with me on stream and then hunt me down and say GG. Alright, we need... I don't want to fight this. I definitely don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight this. I don't have anything that really outranges. Yeah, I could ban a healer. I could ban a healer and Zerida. I could ban a healer and Zerida. Well, it doesn't really matter how many healers he has, it's just that Rosen Seal means I can't. Well, I haven't been AoEing anyway. I think I take the Bozal, too. And we just hope he doesn't pick Yulia. Uh, we kind of want Grenier, don't we? Do we? Do we want Grenier here? Nah, we want Lewin here. Yeah, we want Lewin. It's Lewin's turn. Grenier hogged up so much of the spotlight last game. We need to give Lewin a turn. 
Oh, he banned both of them. Both my buffers. Big rip. He's gonna go for, like, Yeless AoEs. Freya would be better versus his box, but Freya's banned. Bant. Fully bant. Lana and Sage are coming out next. Actually, Sage is not super threatening because I have tiles from this. And my team doesn't get totally nerfed by his tiles. So possibly Lana and Licorice. Or this is when we start going for healers and go Lana Rosen. Obviously not too concerned about the Elwyn at this point. Awesome. Okay, Lana's gotta come out. Um, so Sage or Licko? I think Licko is more annoying. Uh, my healers are banned, aren't they? So next we want to get Sheebs. Um, <clears throat> Pure Test, not bad. Tomaha Shiba, not bad. Lance to Faction buff uh, Vargas. These are all options. Oh, Lance is gone. No Faction buff for Vargas. And he's going with Elmo. Do I want to give him another tank? I don't think I do. So we'll go with Sheebs. We have a faction buff for him at the very least. <laughs> Alright, it's Hashiba time. Double Sheebs. Double Sheebs. I don't really need to change anything. Other than maybe going... Like, heavy infantry on him in case it's Lancer Landius. But infantry sucks against Elwyn. I think the dogs are OP enough as it is. She's fine. Actually, she wants faction buff for sure in this game. For sure. I doubt my hoplites are built on this account. Actually, they might be, but do I really want hoplites on him? The Lava Titans are just so bulky. So bulky. I think I'm fine with Titans. I think I'm fine with all this stuff. I think I'm fine with all this stuff. Yeah, I got the heals I need. Whatever, let's go for it.
My ass? Oh my goodness. Vulgar. Oh, I don't even have time to... put a sensor together that I can put over that just corrupt name. He must be talking about his assassins. That's the only thing I can, I can assume. So we do have a stacked up AoE Lambda, obviously. Uh, I don't have any assassins, so I can't... I basically have to go through the Landius. Uh, it is an infantry Landius. Which means these guys are all kind of gimped in their own way against him. Hmm, getting through that Landius is going to be tricky. Getting through that Landius is going to be tricky. How strong is she? I wonder if he can straight blow her up with AoE. Not from here. What's her AoE range? Five from herself, and then five blocks. Yep, Lando does seriously reduce that damage. Getting through that Landius is going to be... a uh, big problem. Big problem. The only thing I can really hope for in this matchup is, like... that this guy's training or enchants aren't great. That's kind of my only hope. Yep, I think this is going to be a match where I basically just have to clobber my units into Landius and see how much damage they do, and if it's none, then GG. Yeah, Lambda has some int. She has some int for sure. I mean, this guy's pick line was first pick Landius, second pick Lambda, so I'm sure he is very accustomed to faction buffing this monstrosity through bronze and silver. So he is... Yeah, he immune to debuffs, that's fine. If he didn't have that, I could have theoretically shackled him with this, but that's not going to work. Simply not going to work. Yeah, I don't... Maybe, yeah, with the infantry Angelica class change on top of Hoplites. That's an interesting thought. Vargas's guard range is 3, isn't it? I'm 
I'm gonna stay back here anyway. Got the breeze. For all the good it'll do. I mean, that gives me a little bit of positioning where I can look at AoEing Lambda. I might just have to pile in. I might just have to charge in, honestly. Like, next turn, Vargas here. Lewin here for an AoE. And then him to come up to join. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want that Elwyn to just come in and kill my Toma. Yeah, Sky, my only, uh, my only concern about that is I'm not 100% sure what my Hoplite training is on this Free Kong account. I might have built them up. I might have built them up specifically for Vargas, but I literally don't remember. They could be level 5. Probably level 5 uh, Hoplites. Might have been okay, but I'm not 100% sure. Not really doing it. If I move Vargas now, Elwyn can kill Toma. strong is this? That's got decent HP. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's as easy to kill as uh, Waytham's sword. This is my first time ever fighting an Elma. Oh, Elwyn's off the table. Well, I guess he can get act again. what he wants to do. He honestly has too many healers for me to uh, even think about being able to combo my units into him if I could reach. So he's got heals to follow up on this. <laughs> he has a thousand buffs. 
I didn't clock it, sadly. Does he want to use the Actigan play already? I don't think so. Everyone's safe under Vargas right now. That gives guard? I'm not seeing a guard skill. I'm not seeing a guard skill. Does he know that? So who's a prime suspect? Is it going to be Elwyn or Lambda? I guess he takes Elwyn. Oh, the passive guard is still up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no! Terrible Lewin. Well, now he knows. Now he knows his guard is not up. Sheebs can't reach. Yeah, I probably had time to Angelica first because I don't think he realized his guard was down, so I could have helped my Luin out a little bit. Yeah, Luin's silence now. That's big sad. I mean, this is kind of what we were expecting from this game. Oh, Cliff's gonna smoke me! No, Lambda's skills are on cooldown right now. Alright, he has everyone under passive guard now except for the Ares doll and Liana, who definitely I'm not one-shotting with any of my units here. Oh, 
ちを拙者に任せろまあ何<笑>時間もうないようん、he's dead if I don't do this, but he does have a revive. But if I cast it on Lewin... Uh, Shiba maybe, but he'll be out of guard. He'll be... I mean, I guess I have a revive too. I don't know, do you think that kills? I don't. I don't. I don't think that kills. I don't think that kills. So the question is whether I want to try to remove Lewin's debuffs so that he can get in on the action, or whether I want to try to just full heal Vargas. Okay, so Lewin unsilenced. Look at how huge Vargas is. Everyone's huge. <laughs> Lewin lives and Sheba's silenced. Brutal. Brutal. Well, we got clock again. I was gonna say, like, maybe this becomes a, a fog battle, but I don't think I can hold out long enough against this Lambda with just her healing. What? Landius is going to eat his lunch if I do that. Just absolutely devour his lunch. Yeah, the thing is, even if I block the passive guard tiles, Moon, there's no one I can really one-shot on his team. He's not going to put her out of passive guard. I can't one-shot this, I can't one-shot this, so... Is Vargas even still guarding? No. <laughs> How much does this hurt me back if I try this? I just want to put damage on him. How much does it hurt me? Quite a bit. Quite a bit, as it turns out. Quite a bit.
Okay. So I still have him. Yeah, I think I save the 3C. I think I save the 3C for next time he throws guard up. I can't hope that it'll clock again if I use it next turn. Lambda could kill Shiba here. He has another life, though. Man, I wish my Shiba could kill that. That would certainly be fun. It's not Bracer. Ah, I don't want to throw my Shiba away. It's tempting, though. It's probably bait. Specifically bait to bring Shiba around back. I could heal him up. I could heal him up and then run around there, 3C him. Get that follow-up AoE from the 3C. Uh, yeah, I can still do it down there, although he's buffed now. I'd want to heal him. I want to faction buff him, too. Let's heal him first. We want him to still be a Lancer. Do we think this is going to happen? Shiba isn't going to kill that? So my two options here are take the impatient play to try to 3C this, or just hang here. Like, I can fog him out. I don't think I have to try. I can fog him out, too, because these units are all going to want to stay with Landius, and they're all three-legged... Well, she's got a breeze or something. He can get around me, but I'm not super worried about him. So... 2C does more damage because no revive. Oh, yeah, interesting. No revive. No revive. You think that does more damage than 1.6? I'm going to try the 3C. Yeah, it didn't need the AoE. Unfortunately, this is the real threat. Like, Elwyn wasn't even really the threat. Killing Elwyn was just, uh, just because I could. Guarded. He's going to want to use his guard right away. Okay. Now I can try to strip it again. 
Not that it really matters at this point. But it will heal the rest of my team. And it will limit his, uh, the freedom that he feels to move around. If it strips. Didn't look like it did. No, it did not. So he can definitely move around much more freely now. Look at this. He can get right in, actually. Damn, that's a very unfortunate breeze. Could put Vargas here just so that if he does run his units in, they can't be adjacent. Oh, they're gonna kill that though. think he kills though with no skill. I think this is pretty much screwed town. Like Lando can get in. All he needs is Lando to get in, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter who else I block. I mean, if he wants to move Lando in now, then I can go for the Lambda. And if he wants to move Lambda in now, I can go for the Lambda. Okay, he's taking the slow way around. might have just fucked himself there. He needed to get someone in the zone right away. Ah, Landius is guarding it, though. Hmm, 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 hmm. Lewin has no skills, though. That's the problem with trying to take a life. No skills. Still can't get in. He has to kill his way in. Her being silenced really sucks. Guard looks like it's still up. No? Guard's not up. He got that goddamn breeze again, though. I don't want to open up the mid, though. Fuck.
I'll do Vargas next. Don't want to give up the mid. Can't cure Vargas, but he does still have revives. No one can get in except Landius. Yeah, I think I don't give up this position to go attack her. Not Vargas yet, because if he moves Landius in now... Now I can Vargas. Now I can Vargas. Ah, oh, that sucks. Vargas was too hurt. Well, I don't kill him and I don't come back on damage. Lewin's not killing that. Vargas will die. Liana can get in. Can't. Lambda and Liana can't get in now. I still have quite the damage gap to make up, though. Especially with a Vargas that I can't attack with. That? Yeah. I should have probably made him infantry there. No, Vargas can't even get in either. Vargas, poor fella, you'll be missed. These guys are still toast. Yeah, I'm not making up 160,000 damage. turns left. So 80,000 damage per turn. Mm, it's possible with uh, some Lewin crits. This unbuffed Lewin I don't think is going to be killing the Lando. Ah, that Lando's not going down. Not with him with a healer, either. Oh well. 
silver tier freebies were bound to meet their match at some point. Bound to happen. Oh, here we go! Oh, here we go! Oh, Lewin. Lewin with no buffs. Poor fella. You did your best. My sweet uh, SP infantry icon. Here we go. Two hundred thousand damage, Lewin. Well, it's five percent of that. That was a fun one. Even if we lost, that one was pretty entertaining. My ass. Defeated by my ass, once again. Lost 10 points, too. Brutal. So we are up 229 points, and we lost 11 points total. That's a pretty decent run, if you ask me. Pretty decent run. Moon, we should have a uh, we should have a, a cliff scrim during the week, maybe, because as it is now 1.30 in the morning, uh, I gotta sleep. Let's see if the rankings changed. Ada cracked 2500. Beast mode. Ichiao and SCL. Absol. Oh, Zanson! I didn't think Zanson was climbing, but he was definitely outside of the seed ranks when this last window started, and now he's in the top 10, so I guess he does care about uh, rank prestige after all. This is uh, Hakuo. So Hakuo's up there. Edgar Allan Bro. Gaul. Auto Run still hanging out in the top 16. Hail dropped from 16 to 19 today. But I don't think it's because he lost points. I think this is around the number of points that he had to start the day. So I think he just got passed by a few people. Kenji was in the top 16 as well, but Kenji definitely de-boosted out. He had more points than this. Hey, yeah, GG. It was... Uh... That was fun. It, that's the kind of match that it would have been a stressful one if it was on my main account and I actually cared. So poor old Free Kong had to pull out all the stops. And, uh... Yeah, poor old Free Kong had to pull out all the stops and try everything. The, the old fog match. Hale might have got bodied. I mean, since he st stayed at the same number of points that he had to start the day, I'm sure he got bodied enough to more than make up for the wins the points that he would have gained from wins. My point is just that he didn't uh, he didn't drop out of the top 16 because of bleeding points like Kenji did. He kind of basically sat pat. Even though he was playing all day, the end effect was that he sat pat and uh, got passed. Moon, is it you who did that? You sneaky Moon. So Kampa's up here. Esther's up here. Who else was I looking for? Loomis is up there. Lots of names. Real Alicia Simp, doing really well in the Summit Dare Langrisser. I wonder how um, ninjas... Oh, there's Moondoggy. Definitely very safe. Poor Free Kong's not safe for playoffs. <laughs> Chung, my guildmate's up there.
Will, barely in the top 100. I should check um, what Kong's rank ended up dropping. Let's just briefly switch over to main Kong. I like how Moon messes around with a bunch of different boxes while he's in, like, the top 100. Okay, so I did drop 10 spots. But with 10 days left in the season, like, for me to drop 10 spots in one whole day, I don't think I'm dropping another 90 spots, or another, effectively, 100 spots tomorrow. Uh, you know, I might drop another 10 or, like, 20 at worst. So I think I'm safe for playoffs. It's looking like 19, 20 is going to be the cutoff, unless people go absolutely bananas tomorrow. Uh, which I doubt. I doubt people are going to do that. So yeah, as I said, 1.38 in the morning, uh, I actually do have to get up. It's kind of early too, because Mrs. Kong is taking applesauce to a dog show, so I'm helping pack them up and uh, maybe get applesauce some points in the little, little puppy beauty pageant. Yeah, I'll go gatekeepers. I, I don't think I'll be gatekeeping this week. I'll be focusing all my attention on Free Kong tomorrow. So during the day, I'm going to be doing dog stuff. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stream during uh, the earlier windows. But I'll definitely do what I can to be back for this window again tomorrow and see if we can get another 230 points for Free Kong. Um, the higher he goes, the better his qualifiers will be next season. So, I don't know. Fingers crossed for that, I guess. But good luck to everyone in the stream who is still fighting for 1900 or a playoff position. Got my fingers crossed for you, my friends. Thanks for dropping by the stream. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy Langrissing, everyone. <laughs>